Now today's video is going to be somewhat of a challenge. You know how much I love a ping chipper but the mere mention of that word to a pro and it literally makes their toes curl. So I thought we'd try and persuade the man with a razor sharp short game to give one a go. Now Lewis has been pre-warned that we are filming but I haven't told him what and I've got to admit I can't wait to see his response and uh, it's worth capturing on film. I think you better all wish me luck. Right now, Lou, I've been very secretive about what this video is about because in all honesty, if I tell you before we actually get to our uh, first location, I actually think you'd refuse to do the video. Oh, not one of these again. Right, before we start the video, I've got one question for you. What do you consider to be, I'm gonna say the best part of your game is your driving. What is the second best part in your game? I'd like to think it was me chipping, I think. Right answer. Now, if I was to say to you that I want you to, well, I want your opinion first of all. I can't be negative about them, can I? Why can't you? Because they're so popular. Just, well, you know what this video is about. I've already told you, and I knew that would be his response. He's very sort of uh, traditional in his own setup, and I'm going to try and persuade you today on why a chipper is a real... <laughs> what did you just say? He said, look at this state of that. <laughs> <laughs> this should be interesting. It's even more negative than I expected. Right, Lou, before we go and hit any balls from what is probably about 30 yards away from the flag, you would typically, and I've got to say, Lou's got a real razor sharp short game, and I would think, what, what club have you got in your hand there? Uh, I've just got a 50. Okay, so the kind of club you would play from this kind of position, really blob on with it, but I'm going to say that I think you're going to be really surprised in just how good a ping chipper is from the same position, and perhaps reiterate the point as to why these are a useful weapon for a lot of average golfers that are yep. struggling. But we'll see. Before we do anything, I just want you to hit a regular shot and tell me what your feedback is with that. And I know 100% he's never hit one of these in his life. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. I, kn I obviously know about these clubs. Yeah. Um, people have purchased these clubs. Someone has one on order at the moment. Yeah. And I'm stood over that going, I don't know how to play that. Right. Which is really interesting. What's, isn't the, it? what's the main thing that is different about it as you notice first so of all? It's so upright. Yeah. It's so upright. You know, I'm used to sort of standing here. You know, it's very much a putter like. That's it. You know, and I appreciate that that's what chippers kind of are. Yeah, but it's more upright than I've ever known before in yeah. terms of the other models that you can get. And it's the first big noticeable difference. So I've done loads of videos and they've been very positive about the chipper, but there's also the kind of mindset that Lou said, right, what do I do with this? Because it's not what you're expecting. Yeah. So we're, first of Ge all... I've generally never been near one, to be Yeah, honest, that lie angle is incredibly so, different. And then are we like, are we hinging on the way back? Are we going... I play it as a putting stroke. I don't do right, it. Okay. I, I play it very much as a putting stroke okay. and extend the length Let's of the swing. Go. Oh, look at that, bang on line. So it's just wandered off to the right a bit, but... It's good distance my strike, control. I'm happy with the sure. strike, because I did think I was going to make a bit of a fool of myself, to be honest. The first thing I would always say about the, the difference between the ping chipper and, let's say, an Odyssey, is with the Odyssey chipper, you've yep. got the Odyssey face insert that you'd see in a Yeah, putter. the white hot face insert, I've seen so, them, yeah. So it's very, very the, different. The, this, um, you know, these have been really popular, yep. and the people who've had them, I think, um, it has helped them massively. Yep. I would 100% if you've exhausted all options, I'd be thinking about one of these. Well, be before we get to that, I want to see you hit a few more shots and yep. then I want to see if you can then start to see more and more reasons as to why or perhaps why not because what you might feel is these are, because there's an argument, these could be detrimental to your game yep. and what you'd be better doing is seeking lessons to eradicate your chipping problems rather than rely yep. on something like this. That. So That's exactly what I think. There you go. <laughs>
Right, Lou, I'm going to stop you there. A particularly good one as well, and you've hit a couple of good ones. Yeah. I've noticed a couple of race by. Yeah. I'll give you basically just a few more uh, a few more options to try from play from the rough. Yeah. And then we play with a little bit of an obstacle in the way. Yeah. Overall impression, first of all, on the you for why don't we just play five or six shots? Good. Yeah. Good. I, I mean, I think um, easy to use, which yo, know, I think yo, know, if anyone's, uh, it's very different. It would take some practice. You know, I'm sort of getting a little bit better with it. Um, Do you find the bit, face a little bit fiery? Yeah, yeah, it's firm. As what one of, I think, uh, you know, as we're going around there, hitting is, it's um, it's only got one shot, hasn't it? It's, it's, it's limited. It, yeah, yeah, it's only got one shot in the, in the sense that it gets the ball in the air initially, mm. but it's very much a, a chip and forward roll. propulsion, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, there's no up about it. Well, if we overlay that other shot that you just played, I said you're playing in front of the grass mound where you've got to get yeah. a bit of loft. It's, I find it almost impossible, yeah. judging by yours. Again, it ran on. You, you, we got the we got the bit of loft over yeah. the mound, but it's still then chasing on. <laughs> so I agree, one dimensional. The couple really that have ran up close again it's always where this club comes in handy if you like you, you, no obstacles in the way like that's when play, it's... It, and, and it is easy to use you know mm. it's, you're not even really thinking about direction strike no it's just just hit it and you know if you if you if your length of stroke is good you you're all right i think that's the thing that needs to get used to that's the bit for me is that it fires off yeah. almost like a you know what you'd expect the G430 iron to feel like in terms yeah. of it firing off a little bit. So that's a little bit dangerous at times because, like I said, you've got to be you've got to be mindful of that. But when you get used to it, like I said, that's something that will come. But I think it's the for me the real the upright position which was really alien when you started off. I think I see that as being the big positive in the sense that most people can put they can yeah. they can execute a putting stroke yeah, definitely. And I think to be able to use that same stroke. In a chipping motion or with a chipper. Yeah, for repeatability, that's yeah. just key, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Let's try a few more. I'm going to go uh, throw a bit of a curveball in because there's a bit of a debate on sort of how far you can or cannot play these from. So there was distance from flag. Perfect. So we'll go to about sort of 60, 70 yards and see if you think it's got any kind of versatility whatsoever. Oh, I've let the side down there. We're still on the green. So, I led the way, and I, I've, hit, I've hit, see, it's an interesting one. I don't know why, why does it work so good for me, do you think? Is there a, something that, because even my short game, i am become a little bit reliant on this, I'll be honest with you. It, it, maybe play it in too yeah, many positions. Yeah, I think positions. you get used to it. I think, I mean, it's a, sh it's a short shaft, it's easy to hit the middle, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Um, how did you feel out on the long shot then? Doesn't what was your feel horrendous? Yeah. Doesn't feel horrendous at all. That's the bit that surprised me. I think more I, I, you, know, you can't just that it's built differently, aren't you? Yeah. But and nothing. that's why I asked you the question if you knew an answer better than I was educated enough to give is I find myself again standing very much more upright. Yeah. But I don't I'll still play the shot and As I'm happy with it because of the results it gives, yeah. even though it feels weird. Yeah. So um, we should probably explain we're like hundred and ten yards away here, yeah, aren't yeah. we? So we were just sort of the reason I've put that sort of your, versatility, aren't we? Look. Yeah, and, and also because sorry to interrupt, Lou, is because pings say this is a club to be used from sort of forty yards and in. And if you're a regular channel viewer, you'll know I've done a few videos where we've played at this kind of range, and I've used this a lot of occasions more than forty yards and in. Yeah, and I still think it's a very playable club. Yeah. Which yeah. surprises me. Yeah, no. Fair Give play. me your overall kind of what's your thought I think process on it. <clears throat> Uh, not it's it's a good club clearly you know it, it really is i think it'll help the masses yeah absolutely would i play one no yeah um my, my i sort of we've been chatting haven't we and i think the, my my one big thing with it is the one dimensional nature of it where yes. i feel as though it's it comes off a bit quick um it, it doesn't launch it around the green very well yeah it, it's very much forward and runs they could almost bring out another club here couldn't yeah. they they can I bring out like a chipper plus yeah. with 
10 degrees more aft on it yeah. um, and, and people could legitimately put two in couldn't they I think yeah. I, I mean I think you're 100% right and I, I think even maybe even more than that I can see ping bringing out a range of this where there's you know than almost what you see five degree gra- yeah, between the your bottom wedges. end of the bag where, where people like me I have 50 yeah. 54 degree and 58 degree and um, you could see people with three I of these so. couldn't you yeah. well I think it's inevitable that there will be something I think launched with, with, with more loft on it definitely yeah. from ping I think it's a really interesting video I joked at the beginning of this about can I persuade a pro to use this knowing full well the answer to that question was always going to be no I think it's been interesting to see Lou play it around the greens as well in all honesty you know y- you are far better using the clubs that you've got this isn't giving you anything um, well, I've had some really good shots of it you and have it, and but you clearly yeah. don't need it there's a lot of golfers out there that I think what we've already talked about without um, uh, going over the same old points that could see benefits from it but I am very much pro chipper and uh, you know that anyway as ever this club's been out a long while now let me know I know a lot of you have bought this club I know a lot of you are still anti-chipper so just let me know uh, what your thoughts are on it now a lot of you had it in the bag for a while has it improved your short game or should you really do the right thing which is go and get a few lessons and get your technique sorted and not rely on a club like this Right, as ever, Lou, thanks, uh, thanks for your, your input. Um, we'll be back again tomorrow night with another video, and I'll see you then.